Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com doing a video showing you how to root your Moto X. This is for essentially every variant but the AT&T and Verizon because you cannot unlock the bootloader on either of those variants. So Sprint, US Cellular, T-Mobile, uh, Latin America, uh, you guys are all good to go with this root method. But first of all, you do need to unlock your bootloader. Mine is unlocked. Go ahead, I have a video showing you how to do so. Go ahead and click the link in the description of the video because you need to unlock your bootloader first. Next, we're going to actually install a custom recovery called Twerp Recovery. Uh, that's going to be the next step. Next, we're going to need to go ahead and install Twerp Recovery, a custom recovery, and then we can root the device once that is done. So, what we can do is go ahead and, like I said, unlock your bootloader. Once your bootloader is unlocked, go ahead and click on the Twerp link in the description because we need to go ahead and download a file. So actually, first you're going to want to go ahead and click on the Super SU zip. So that's in the description as well. So click that Super SU zip and download this. So click this Download Update Super SU zip. It'll be a zip file. Once done downloading, go ahead and, sorry about that, go ahead and go into your downloads folder. And once in your downloads folder, you will see update super su, that zip file we just downloaded. Just click and drag it onto your internal storage. So transfer that over to your internal storage. It should be right there. So you'll see that zip file did transfer. Now you can go ahead and go to that uh, twerp download file. Clicking on the link will take you to this site. Big thanks to dhacker29, uh, Dee's Troy as well, everyone at Team Win for getting this recovery going for us. But you'll see a download link right here. Uh, click on that and download it. It will be a .img file. It will be an image file called twerp263 or maybe updated potentially. Uh, but anyways, once you have it downloaded, go ahead and navigate to your downloads folder. You'll see in my downloads folder I have that twerp263 file. Go ahead and right click and hit cut. And then go ahead and go out, navigate to that Android SDK folder. Double click on it and then paste it inside of that folder. So just go ahead and right click and hit paste. Once you have that pasted, we're going to need to open up a command prompt within that Android SDK folder. So hold shift, right click and hit open command window here. If your bootloader is unlocked, you should be familiar with these steps. So now it opens up this command prompt. So now with that command prompt open, we need to go ahead and put our device into fast boot mode. So to do so, go ahead and power off the device fully. Again, you should be familiar with this if your bootloader is unlocked, which it needs to be. Uh, once it's powered down, go ahead and press and hold volume down and power button at the same time. Keep it held down for about three seconds. Go ahead and let go, and it will take us into fast boot mode. Once in fast boot mode, grab your micro USB cable and plug your device into your PC. So plug it on in. Then we can go back to that command prompt. All right, so once we're in this command prompt, we need to go ahead and type fastboot space flash space recovery space and then twrp263.img. Sorry, it's a little difficult with this camera in front of me. .img. So there we go. I'm going to grab my phone, hold it on up, press enter, and it's, uh, it's going to go ahead and write the recovery. So... Uh, you'll see it'll say finished, uh, and we're ready to go. So it's on the device. It says flashing recovery done. Let's go ahead and go to our device now. All right, now that it's done, you don't need our device plugged into our PC anymore. You can actually unplug it. But you will see uh, right here it says flashing recovery done. Now what you can do is use the volume up and down uh, to navigate. Actually, I think it might just be the volume down to navigate. So go ahead and go down to recovery and press volume up to select it. Now it says, warning, bootloader is unlocked, that's fine, but it reboots us into our team win recovery. So there we go, we now have a custom recovery fully installed. All right, so now that we have Twerp successfully installed, let's get this device rooted. So it's very simple. Just go to the Install button. It's a full touchscreen recovery. Scroll all the way to the bottom, and there is that Super SU zip file that we transferred over. Go ahead and press it. Actually, before you do that, I highly recommend making an Android backup. So go to the Backup button and uh, back up your data system and boot and swipe to make backup. I need to do so, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So again, highly recommended. Uh, you can go to the Restore button and restore your Android backup if for whatever reason you need to. So I'm going to let that run through and I'll be back once it's done. All right, so it says successful, backup completed. I'm just going to go back, back again, and now we can go ahead and root the device. So go back to install, scroll down, press the zip file, that super SU zip file, 
and hit swipe to confirm flash. It'll go ahead and run through and actually install Super SU on our device and root it. So now we can just hit reboot system and our device should now be fully rooted. So I'm gonna let it boot up and show you guys I am now fully rooted. All right, so now that my device has fully booted up, I can go ahead and go into the app drawer real quick and you'll see that Super SU is now in the app drawer. So again, that shows that you are rooted. To double check, I have downloaded an app called Root Checker. You can get it in the Play Store. Um, go ahead and agree and just hit verify root access. Allow it super user permissions once it asks. So hit grant and it says congratulations, the device has root access. So we're good to go. So now our device is fully rooted. You also have a custom recovery installed if you wanted to flash ROMs, etc. You can do so. I'll be doing future videos as well on this device. So please subscribe to me. I'd really appreciate it. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. All links will be in the description of the video below. Uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.